Ooh, she looks so good. We got the Psylocke Mafex action figure ready to unbox, review, pose. Yeah, welcome back, mutant lovers. How cool was that last episode of X-Men 97? I thought they did a really good job with that episode. It was a throwback. There was so many Easter eggs in that episode. Uh, yeah, it was an awesome episode. I liked it. On the heels of that, we got this Psylocke ready to open. So let's get to it. Welcome back, everyone. We're going to take a look at the box before we open it up. This figure, it looks very nice. Uh, right here on the back of the box, the, the posing, everything, the pictures, she looks very cool looking. You see number 141, Psylocke comic version action figure. Here is the side. There's your bottom. And here's the other side. That's pretty cool that they do these little heads like the actual comic books. I do like that. Same thing right here on the side. Marvel 6 inch 141. Yes. Let's do it. Here we got her in the clamshell. And we did get this again. If you watched a prior video where I uh, did the Mafex unboxing of uh, Wolverine. It's ordered from the same place, ninninggame.com, and I will post that info in the description. Uh, so yeah, let's get her out of the clamshell. And a big shout out to uh, ninninggame.com. I got this figure very promptly, very quick shipping. I picked DHL. They give you different options on there whatever shipping that you want to do uh, different prices on there check it out if you're interested i did see they have the gambit still available on there i know gambit's going for a lot on the aftermarket um, so i went ahead and i ordered gambit too might as well what the hell and i'm waiting for that cyclops to become available i keep missing him i keep getting notifications that he's in stock i keep missing the order but it does notify uh, it notifies you when it is in stock you have that option just leave, drop your email and they'll send you the email and they'll let you know when it's in stock so I, I do like that okay here we go let's get everything out and man x-men right now i think x-men's on fire Okay, here's the stand in the back. Your typical uh, Mafex stand. And then here are some of the effects that she comes with. And they look nice. So, And another thing I want to mention is they package the figures like really nice. The boxes come like well packaged there's no dents they box it inside of a uh another box um so it protects this box if you are a in-box collector i mean they do look nice in the the package with the the window opening so that's a plus okay let's get started with all of her extras that she comes with we're going to start by looking at these here. Okay, so this, I don't know if I just broke that shit or if that's the way. I think that's just the way it is. It, it uh, comes off here. And I'm not really sure what that's about yet but we will look at it 
in a while. Maybe it's just for looks. I'm, I'm not sure yet. And then we have her belt with the X logo on there. It's in pink. And then you do have the, uh, what do you call these? The sheaths for her swords. So that's part of the belt. And it doesn't come off. That's, that's on there. And then you have two really nice swords. These look really nice. They're nicely detailed. I like the handles on here. And the paintwork looks really nice. You got the nice silver blade on it. Yeah, these look really good. I like these swords. So good job on these. And then let's look at the hands. So you have... Some grabbing hands, some grasping hands here. You have some open hands. And then you have these hands for her special effects. And there is some uh, little nipples on here where you're going to plug stuff onto. We'll get into that in a while. And then we have the two fisted hands. So you've got options on this figure. You got like pretty much five pairs of hands. And then you have these effects here. Translucent plastic. These look pretty neat. I like these. Could do some cool uh, pictures with these. And then you have some more effects here. Oh, and these have like inside, so it's actually like another pair of hands with the effects. Um, if you see inside, there is the hands. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and then another set of hands actually here. For some reason, I was thinking that these were just going to go plugged in to the existing hands that I just showed you. But no, they have their own their own hands in there like glued in there so yeah you got a lot of cool different looking uh ways that you can give this psylocke different looks so that's pretty awesome Alrighty, let's get to the other head sculpt check that out nice purple hair and then you do see like a black wash in there black highlights it looks good i like it you see the purple lipstick her teeth the eyes they did a nice job with the uh paint application on this head it looks nice I, I like it alrighty now let's get to the figure the bread and butter alrighty now looking at this figure I definitely like this figure just by looking like the aesthetic to it, it looks beautiful. It's a beautiful figure. It's uh it has like a nice blue color to it. It looks pretty much like the blues that we've been seeing, like with the um the Wolverine and the Jean Grey. I will pull them out a little later and we'll see like if it does match. To me, it looks like it does right now just by by looking at it, I mean, it, it looks like it's pretty close to the, those same blues from the other prior Mafex figures that I uh, unboxed. Uh, this this looks nice, man. I really like it. And you're going to be able to do some crazy shots with this. This is the, um, the re-release 
of this Psylocke. I didn't get the uh, original one. On a lot of these Mafex, I waited. I, For whatever reason, I just I didn't jump on them right away. I was kind of like skeptical about them. Uh, I know there is a lot of people that do not like the uh, scale of some of them. But for me, I mean, I like the way they look so far. Like all the ones that I have received, I've I've liked, you know, the posability on them, the look, um, you know, the paint job. I haven't had any like issues as of yet with any of these Mafex figures. Um, they're just, they're nice figures, man. And they are a little more pricey than, you know, your standard uh, Marvel Legends. And But yeah, she's freaking, she looks nice, man. You got like a lot of uh, nice flexibility with the posing. The neck is nice. The long hair, of course, you're not going to be able to get her to look back too much because of the long hair. Uh Maybe on this one, when I put this one on, we'll take a look and see how far back she can look. Um, the waist, you have the waist turn. And then up by her, uh, under her chest, you have like a nice, I guess the diaphragm. You have some nice bend to it. See that? Forward. She can go down uh, forward pretty good. Not so much like on the uh, diaphragm area. Uh, one thing I don't like is when you do bend her, you see like a gap here. So I don't like this part right here. So you got some bending there backward. And then on the arms, you're going to see like a lot of bend on the arms because they are double jointed and the same deal on the legs the legs same double jointed legs you got some nice movement on the ankles and you do have that toe pivot And this one's a little more tighter. Some of the other ones, uh, sometimes they're a little loose, but this one seems a little tighter, like on the uh, the toes. Uh, eventually, I mean, if I keep messing with it, it probably will come loose. Uh, but overall, the movement of this figure is nice. I like it. You do see butterfly. Not a crazy amount of butterfly, but... It's good where it's at. I like it. The paint, everything, it looks nice. I don't see any paint flaws as of yet. Everything looks uh, in line. I don't see like any paint blotches really. Oh, I see like a little speck right here of missing blue paint, but it's not too bad. Yeah, she's she's nice, man. I definitely recommend this figure. She's cool. Let's uh let's put the other head on and we're going to take a look and see how far back she can look with the other the other head. I'm always kind of hesitant to press two far down too quick on this i don't want to break the uh the neck ball so she's not going to look back that much the hair is still in the way but you can go to the side and kind of you still can't go back more it's it's just the way the hair is but that's fine i don't care about that not a big deal Yeah, okay, let's um let's get some of these uh, effects on her and see how those look. And then another thing I want to do is how in the heck do you put this on her waist? Does this come off 
or what? Like, or how do I get it on there? I'm kind of, I'm going to have to look into this. All right, bear with me. Okay, I popped it off. And then that's what the, uh, the inside looks there. So we're going to go ahead and take this off. We're going to put this one on. And I'm not going to lie that it made me kind of like nervous, like taking this off. And we're still not out of the clear. We got to put it back on. So hopefully it's not, you know, a freaking pain in the butt to pop this back on. There we go. Okay. So it went on nicely. Not bad. Now. Okay, so these little slots right here, we're going to take off the handles off of these to give it that more iconic look of Psylocke. So these come off just like so. And then you put these. See if I could, did I get it? Okay, looks like it's on there. And then let's put this other one on this side. Try not to force anything. I don't want to mess anything up. I think it has to go this way, like, it has kind of like a curve to it. I'm thinking, let me see. Yeah, it has to go that way. This one's being a little, a little stubborn. Maybe it doesn't go that way. Let's try this way. Okay, it goes this way. I was putting it the wrong way. See, I'm already messing it up. Okay, so there we go. We got the handles installed on the back of the sheath. And it looks good. I like that look. And I will say, as far as like the heads, they're both beautiful heads. Uh, but I like the more aggressive looking one this uh grunting uh you know gnashing her teeth i like that one that one looks pretty cool she looks more like a badass more menacing to me like she's ready to kick some butt and then her legs they split pretty good and as far as the kick she can really get these legs up so you got some really, really good uh, articulation on the legs. Damn, she gets them way up there. Check that out. And same thing back. This came off, so hopefully I didn't mess it up. Let me see. Let's put it back in. I don't know why it came off. Okay, so it's a little... It's not as snug as I would like it to be. So just be careful with that. Um, if it's not like a real tight snug fit and you're like tapping it, I mean it will fall off. Looks like it's okay right there. Yeah, she's a badass. She looks freaking neat. And then on the arms, or on the hands, I should say, she does have some wrist articulation. More upward. Let me see. Downward. Yeah, she has some downward as well. Just be careful, like, on the wrist, because there's a certain way that you have to turn them. 
and they have to line up for you to be able to bend them. If you have Mafex, you know what I'm talking about. So you see a nice bend right there. Pretty cool. I like it so far. I want to put some um, some of her effects on. And then I want to see how she looks with her swords. So let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty, so I put these hands on her. The ones with the little pegs. So you can attach her, um, her special effects she came with. And on this damn thing, it keeps falling. So I flipped it around and it seems like it's pretty snug now. So maybe I just had it um, put the wrong way. Uh, it's on there now. So, I mean, hopefully it stays on that way. Let's put these round ones on and see how these look first. Yeah, man, the way they make figures nowadays... There's like, you wouldn't dream of this stuff, man, when you were like growing up, like in my time, they like really got sophisticated with a lot of these figures now. It's like so freaking amazing to see this kind of stuff. Like it just gives you like different looks and stuff and her arms do go out pretty good. See? And just, they just add it like you know, different pieces and stuff that you can, you know, pose these figures. Back then, you know, it was like limited, you know, you were just happy to have the actual figure, you know, like it didn't necessarily have to have all the, the movement, you know, the articulation. Um, so like come full circle, you know, now like you see all this stuff and it's like, damn man, like what will they come up with next? What do they think of next? Pretty soon we're going to have like a walking, talking damn action figure. <laughs> but there she is with these. And I like that they're translucent. You can see her hands through these. So that is a freaking nice touch, man. I really like that. That looks neat. That's badass. And make sure when you're putting these on, you do have to push them all the way down. I wasn't doing that. So they're kind of loose. Uh, they do go all the way down. Don't be afraid to press down on it. Um, but they look really good, man. I really like this look. Man, she looks freaking sweet. Look at that. You see the hands? They look freaking nice, man. So cool. Okay, let me... Uh, take these off and then we're gonna put on the other ones and we'll go from there so let's take these off we're gonna just take the whole hand off I think let's see I think it goes like this hopefully okay so that's in there and then this other one. Yeah, you see the outer part here is her thumb. So it has to go this way. So plug that in there. Just be careful like when you're pressing down on these. Um, the wrist area. You don't want to snap these little pegs. Okay, so there we go. We got these effects on her. And you could turn them however you want. So these look good too. I, I like these a lot. I like the, so far I like the round ones the most. Like the round effects. But this one looks cool too. Like don't get me wrong, it looks good. Okay, so we got one more set of effects. Let's put those on. And then what I want to do after that is put on her grasping hands and see how she grasps 
the um, swords. So let's take these off. And let's put these other ones on. Okay, so this... Yeah, this one goes in here. Okay, so look, you could see... You see the fist? I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but you could actually see her thumb right here. So that's how you will be able to see if they're going in the right way. Okay. Let's put this one on. This is so cool, man. There's like so many different looks you could give this um, Psylocke. I hope like in the uh, X-Men 97, I hope they give her more of a role. I want to see some more Psylocke in, you know, animation. Because she is a freaking badass uh, figure. Let me adjust my uh, camera here. Yeah, I would love to see this Psylocke in, in cartoon um, animation. We did get like a little glimpse of her in the original X-Men, the animated series. When they had that big episode where you had all the mutants, you know, going up against Apocalypse. I don't remember. I think it was called Beyond Good and Evil. And that was just a freaking badass um, series that they had going in the original uh, X-Men. So these are her looks right here with these. Check that out. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. Check that out. Man, that's sweet looking. Okay, that one came off. I probably didn't press it down far enough. Because I am being kind of careful with this. My eyes aren't as good so okay there we go so there is that effect right there i like it man it looks nice and i think this stayed on already i think i just had it the wrong way that's why it was loose so they're on there pretty snug now both sides Such a cool figure. Alrighty, let me um, let me take those off, and we're gonna put on the other grasping hands with the swords because I'm curious to see if they hold good. Okay, let me grab these. Here she is with the grasping hands and the swords and she looks very freaking sweet looking. She holds these swords very nicely. The swords look great like you know her holding them is just a freaking sweet ass figure man. This is really something. And this is the best Psylocke, in my opinion, that we have to date as far as 6-inch. The Hasbro one is nice, uh, but this one has a lot more articulation. Uh, you can, you know, pose her. She has way more accessories, different looks. She just looks fantastic. She's great. I highly recommend this figure if you haven't got the Psylocke, the Mafex. Grab her, man, while she's available. Um, this is the reissue. I think I already mentioned that. Um, so if you're interested, they do have this one in stock right now. Um, I'm going to leave the description of where I ordered it from. And yeah, if you could pick this one up, I will say grab her. And then uh, the Gambit also is available right now. Uh, so you have Psylocke available, Gambit. 
And then like all your other ones, like you, they have Jean Grey, if you missed out on Jean Grey. Uh, Storm, they have Storm available. All right, here is all of my current Mafex X-Men action figures that I have. And I am going to be adding to this. I want these Mafex figures. I like the way they look. I know some people didn't like the Wolverine. Uh, for one, that his tiger stripes were um, not black. I get it. I mean, I would have preferred them black also. Uh, but it's not a deal breaker for me. I mean, he still looks nice. He looks cool. Another thing they were saying was his claws were too long. I mean, in reality, yes, they are too long. But they look cool, you know. The reality is, no, they're not going to be that long coming out of his his arm. You know, it'd go all the way into his freaking forearm pretty much. Uh, so that's not realistic in that sense. Uh, but we got to remember, it's more like for looks and stuff, you know. Uh, pictures, I mean, it, it looks great. These guys look great together. I dig this line. Um, if you notice, like, the scale on them. For the most part, it looks like they're pretty good with the scale, I would say. Storm looks like she's the the tallest one of these four here. Um, I don't have Cyclops yet. I want Cyclops. I know people don't like that figure. I don't care. I want him. And um, Gambit. Gambit's another one that he looks freaking nice from what I've seen. And he's expensive right now. So I picked him up. Uh, so pick him up. He's on there right now. Uh, pick him up. Pick Psylocke up. If you see Cyclops, um, it's up to you. I mean, I like the Cyclops. I like the way he looks. I want my uh, Mafex of uh, X-Men team going. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this little share video unboxing. Uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, this Psylocke is freaking sweet. It's badass. Go get it. Until next time. Take care. Later. She's a beauty. Oh, yeah.